Hello, welcome to an e-demo on transferring a video edge from permanent to centralised licensing. Centralised licensing enables management of multiple video edge licences from the Victor application server. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check on the status of the licences of the video edges which are on this network. And what I can do is from Victor Unified Client, go up to the Setup tab and choose Licensing. And you'll see we have first of all a video edge license summary telling us how many video edge recorders have been found on this network and then we have a breakdown per recorder. In this instance we just have the one recorder there you can see the name of it, its IP address, the version of video edge software which it's running and its license type which is currently permanent and that is the recorder which we're going to transfer over to centralized licensing. So to do that I'm going to close Victor Unified Client and from the desktop on my Victor application server, I'm going to open up the licensing application. And what I'm going to do then is choose this generate button to generate my system information. You'll see we get a pop up here. What that's saying is that we have a video edge recorder in the system which is currently using a local license. And do I want to transfer that to a centralized license? And also in there, we're going to get a list of compatible recorders. And you can see in this case that is just this one recorder. So I'm going to choose yes and my system information will be generated. I just need to choose a place to save that. I'm going to save it to my desktop and you'll see we have that system information file there. What we're going to do with that system information file is go to the americandynamics.net website. I'm going to follow the register a product link and I'm going to go ahead and register for my new license. American Dynamics will email me that license and when I have received that file I can then go ahead and open up the licensing application again. I can go to add new license. I'm going to navigate to the license file which was emailed to me and I'm going to choose open. I'm going to get a message there telling me that when I apply my new license my services are going to be restarted. So I'm going to choose OK. The services will be restarted and once they come back up then you will see first of all in this license types section on the unified tab we have centralized licensing enabled. If I move over to the video edge tab I'm just going to refresh the data on this tab you'll see we have a total number of licenses which are available for all video edge recorders on this network. Okay, You'll also notice in this licensed feature usage section we have no video edge licenses in use and that is because the video edge which is on the network has not yet been told that it is now using a centralized license. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and open up the video edge administration interface and I'm going to just log in then with an admin account. I'm going to move over to the system menu and I'm going to choose licensing and what I'm going to do is select my license type and I'm going to choose centralized license and then I can configure that centralized licensing. To do that, I'm just going to enter the IP address of my Victor application server. A couple of other options there. I can change the port number if I need to, and I can also add email recipients to receive notifications by email on centralized licensing. I'm just going to leave those as they are, and I'm going to choose activate centralized licensing. And you'll see once that completes, then we're going to get a confirmation message there in green and we have the license type listed as centralized in the table above. Okay, so I'm going to minimize the video edge interface and if I just refresh this video edge tab in the license manager again you're going to see that we now have some of our centralized licenses in use.